And taller poles, higher wires already installed at the Topsom Fairgrounds after this weekend accident. Jim Keithley is live in Topsom tonight with more on the investigation and our team coverage. Jim. Well, Megan, the promoter here, Renegade Monster Truck Tour out of Pennsylvania, has not responded to multiple requests for comment. And we've been calling and emailing for three days now since this accident happened. Uh, the only official person of capacity, really, to speak with us today was the president of the uh, board of directors for the Topsom Fairground. Take a listen. Topsom's fire chief said the only information he has is that the promoter, Renegade Monster Truck Tour, did request ambulance coverage from the fire department in advance. The Topsom Fairground Board of Directors, a nonprofit that runs the fair and other events, says they rented the grounds to the promoter. That's it. It was an accident, and the truck just jumped too high, which... The president of the board, Leon Brilliant, spoke with us over the phone today and said that the promoter was required to sign a safety agreement. He didn't want to share that with us until he checked with the insurance company. Brilliant did say he would rent to the same company again. He said they've always been safety conscious and he sympathizes with all those involved. Because we never, we never planned on the truck jumping, you know, 30 feet in the air and hit a wire. The guy driving the truck, he was very upset about it. He sat in the truck for a little while because he was very upset about it. So. Private Power Services was out at the fairgrounds today in bucket trucks, removing the broken poles and installing new utility poles 10 feet higher than the old ones. And this will definitely give them all the height in the world that they need. Is it good enough, do you think? Uh, depending on what they're, they're doing here. Tim Harmon says after seeing the spectator video, it's a miracle no one was killed. Only you got the electricity, but you got just the, you know, the debris flying around. A debris flying around. You saw that in that dramatic video. The fire marshal's office did assist the Topsom police, we're told. Um, we've been trying to reach out to the Topsom uh, police chief as well uh, to find out what's next in this investigation. We haven't heard back from him either, so we don't know who's really running this investigation at this point, even if there is an investigation. Live in Topsom, Jim Keithley for Maine's Total Coverage. All right, Jim, more to come on this one.